Hi, Daniel Power here again, ready to announce the first interim award winner for the $250 B&H gift card. We're going to see our second and uh, second and third round here. The finalist, uh, the winner, w it will be buried here in the third round. Um, thanks for bearing with me. We are getting this uploaded as fast as we can. It's a little tricky. Um, I also forgot to mention the the last post did not identify fine art and editorial, uh, but I'll do so now. They're m uh, roughly evenly mixed, except for the student. Okay, this first photograph is Andreas Nestel, Senator Professor Carlo Scognamiglio, and this is a fine art submission. And I've I've seen a lot of portraiture, and I've not seen one that that shows. Uh, as much sort of intensity in the consonants. Uh, Harry's best work. Um, this is uh, on par with that. It's it's a very exceptional photograph. It's a it's a wonderful portrait, um, and I, I I like it very much. Um, next up is a fantastic sort of landscape um, photograph from George Steinmetz. It's an editorial submission, meaning it was photographed for a, a magazine or on assignment. This happens to be an aerial view of Wal al Namus um, in in Libya. It's uh, obviously taken from the air. It's in the Saharan Desert. It's it's an incredible photograph. The the composition of the of the circular hole with its vegetation and water basins uh, is is incredible. It's uh, the waves and the black sand uh, add to it in the foreground, um, and I think it's one of the better sort of landscape photographs that I've seen uh, in some time. Congratulations, George. Beautiful photograph. Um, next up is uh, a, an amazing assemblage from uh, Danielle Vanderskans called Maha, Maha Kumela. And it's an editorial photograph. Um, it reminds me of a Bruegel painting. Um, it's absolutely wonderful with these it's a religious uh, ceremony, one of the largest in the world, evidently. Mm -hmm. I don't know much about it, but mm -hmm. these characters photographed here in the light, illuminated simply by the fires, is, is, is incredible. There's a lot of emotion and movement uh, in the scene, the gestures, the clapping and the reaching in and the swirling smoke all together combined to create a, a wonderful painted tableau, if you will. Wonderful photograph. Congratulations, Danielle. Uh, the last of the second round here is a beautiful sort of bleached portrait by uh, Laura Panic uh, called Gemma. It's a fine art submission. What I love about it is the sort of ethereal nature of this of the con of the color composition and the tonality, and this sort of half deadpan look on her face. It's a it's a beautiful photograph, and it conveys a lot simply with the th with the color composition again, uh, very light almost blanched. It's, uh, it's a perfect combination of uh, s the texture of the subject uh, and the atmosphere of the photograph. All right, so that's it for these, this, that sort of second round of finalists. And here we are with our finalist. These are the four singular images that really so impressed me that I <coughs> had to call them out uh, separately one by one. This first one, again, is from a series. It's called, it's by Alex Mazzi. It's called Bhopal's Curse. Uh, I, I've seen, I haven't not yet gotten to the series uh, yet, and there will be a separate uh, gift card interim award for the series. Um, this happens to be probably the strongest in that series called Bhopal's Curse. Um, what I like about it is um, sort, of sort of the intimation of rapture uh, on the girl's face. Obviously, in a poor area, um, in the middle of a monsoon downpour, the way the hair curls up around the face here is absolutely incredible. Sort of the hands held in a very plaintive, plaintive way, and her, and her face obviously facing skyward. Um, I wish there was a bit more asymmetry um, to the photograph, but that said, I think it's an absolutely serene photograph. It conveys a lot of emotion and and sentiment just by in a, just by the the way this this subject's been captured. Congratulations, Alex! Wonderful photograph.
Um, next, we have an, a fine art photograph from Cristina Nunez, who we've seen a little bit earlier. This is an exquisite portraiture, and, and I think showcases um, the strengths of a portrait that's not traditional, in that I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this, is a, uh, her, this project was a self-portrait portraiture project where she had the subjects actually photograph themselves. But the way the hands are and the arms are, are hiding half of the face, the way the light almost seems to obliterate most of the of the corpse here, the body, uh, is incredible the way it's cut off. There's a there's a it it captures very well the desire of the subject to sort of half hide and half be present. And this sort of awkward large torso I think adds to it sort of the the imbalance the tension that's sort of inherent in the photograph you just notice these white knuckles here too wonderful photograph called after the sting of the lizard a fine art photograph by Christina Nunez congratulations Christina second to last is uh, an amazing advertising work we don't have many advertising submissions so if you have advertising work um, please feel free to submit there's not much there right now um, this is called uh, Mosquito Angel by Eric Hwigi. Hwigi, I hope I pronounced that correctly. Beautiful photograph, very, very serene again. Um, could be composed, don't quite know, but a wonderful use of light, uh, suspended animated appearance of this mosquito and obviously the wings of the mosquito there. Um, congratulations, Eric, wonderful photograph. Now, the winner of the $250 uh, b and gift card goes to Samantha Goldfein. For some of you, you might think this is a very odd choice. Um, for me, it, it, it exemplifies um, elements of a photograph that I think that I'm most captivated by, sort of these very delicate gestures. In this case, what appears to be a bird's nest in the middle of a transmission line, an electricity line, um, in some in some country, um, I, it may be difficult to tell, but there's sort of some blowout here in uh, this roof element. It goes from black to slightly purple. You have these little delicate um, uproots of of uh, vegetation here against the sky, and again, the, and in addition to the sort of linear repetitiveness of of the transmission lines. So this sort of, against this grand scheme, this grand background, this very delicate little sort of occurrence. Um, it's this type of photograph that I think, um, for my purposes, um, really make an interesting, it makes something you want to go back to and look at again and again. Um, that said, it's it's very sort of it's a little bit on the abstract side, which sort of is a personal appeal of mine. But um, there was a lot of, of wonderful surprises in this photograph for me. So congratulations, Samantha. Uh, Sam, we'll be in touch with you about the coupon card. Um, and thanks again for everyone that has submitted to date. We're going to have uh, three more of these. Uh, one for the series and two more to occur on the, or to take place on the, I think the oh, 12th of April and the 30th of April. So uh, check our Facebook pages, um, sign up for Twitter, our Twitter feed, um, and keep submitting. We have two, three more cards to, to give out before the big day, New York Photo Awards. Check it out, www.newyorkphotoawards.com. Thanks again.